Back in July, I customized a replacement Gitfoil remote with green Plasti Dip spray paint that I originally bought for my Waydo eFoil board customization. This color matches my original gear and my helmet, and it also serves for some additional protection in the case of impacts to and from the remote. I'm also showing off some uh, other projects that I did where I added some foam to the top of the battery to give it a more snug fit and protection as well as on the bottom of the battery there is this clear 3M uh, adhesive sheets for protecting from scratches. And here's a board bag that my mom made as well. But despite the layers of uh, paint you can see that it still attaches to the side. So what we have here is the Git Foil, Foil Incorporated remote, and I've prepared it for customization. And I'm going to be using green Plasti Dip. My original remote was green. I have some rubber gloves there because I'm going to be holding it by hand and then spray painting it layer by layer. And we'll see how it goes. All right, first layer complete. I'm going to go get some breakfast and come back and do another layer. But in the meantime, I'm just going to set it right here inside this box with this rock so it can set still and breathe. I know it's not a pretty scene, it's just my shed. So it can stay cool in the morning and out of the sunshine. Second coat finished. Third coat. Coat number three. Number four. I accidentally skipped one of my videos. So there's one coat in between this and the previous video. And while it's still wet, I'm going to take the tape off. I've made a big loop of tape on the top of the screen to make it easier for me to pick at and take off. And, uh, and I'll just, uh, you know, loop this tape on the uh, handle off. That should come off pretty easily just by swirling it around and around and around. But I wanted to make the screen easy for me to take off with that big kind of pull handle there. On all of my final coats, I've paid particular attention to the edges. I wanted to have a nice looking edge that would also be durable if it were to impact the board or something else. And so I made it a bit thicker along the edges. Again, paying particular close attention to the edge or the seam between the bottom and the top part of the remote, the two pieces of plastic here. Now that the summer season has ended and some of you have temporarily ceased your eFoil adventures, hopefully this project and other projects that I have shown will inspire you for your own projects to live life to the foilist until next season.